A complete set of the device that could have saved the lives of 20 children at Runyanya Primary School in Kiriandongo District on Tuesday night and others before them consists of at least three different copper pieces. To have an effective lightning arresting system, one requires a lightning rod, a copper tape, a copper plate which can also be substituted with a copper mat or an earth rod all mounted onto the other. This one goes on the top of the roof. You get the bolts, you bolt on the timbers on the roof or either way. If you don't have timber, you normally have tiles. You can fit it using the bolts. You get a tape, the tape you fix it here. You tighten this to, to tighten the tape. You run the tape via the wall. You get the clips to clip the tape on the wall. This one runs down to the soil. In the soil it finds either this or this, which is a copper mat, or this, which is a copper plate. Installation technicians advise that when buying the device, be careful to choose genuine suppliers to avoid ending up with substandard products. A genuine lightning conductor must be copper plated to effectively arrest lightning. If you're testing a magnet with other item like this, it will contract. But if you're testing it with copper, it won't do anything. It won't contract on it. That's a good, a good test of genuine copper. Okay. On the local market, the device can be found in hardware shops, mainly in the city, at a fairly priceless sum to ordinary Ugandans. A copper plate goes for 400,000 shillings, an earth rod is about 60,000 shillings, a copper mat is 170,000, a copper tape goes for 40,000 shillings per meter, and a lightning arrester is about 170,000 shillings. Installation costs range between 200 to 300,000 shillings. This brings the total to between 800,000 and 1 million shillings. However, experts say electrical installations like earth wires reduce by at least 50% the risk of buildings being struck by lightning. In, on most of the buildings where, where we have already put the earthing for the electricity, you have at least reduced the chances because of the earthing. Yeah. Remember this earthing is from the electrical wire and these electrical wires are a network of all the poles around. So they help at least on reduce it on being a child or any person out there being the only connection to the earth. Apparently, all the schools that have been struck by lightning did not have any electrical installations. They also did not have lightning conductors. The most tragic was the Runyanya Primary School lightning strike that killed at least 20 people, leaving scores injured. Three people died earlier at Nawangoma Primary School in Jinja District. Isabel Nakiria, NTV.